and welcome back to my channel. So yes, I look a mess and my skin's bad, but today I'm going to be trying out three pound makeup brushes, like eyeshadow ones and stuff, that I bought from eBay. I thought this was a little different and I've seen these videos are quite popular and yeah, let's just like see how these go. open these yet but I bought this rose gold set they were literally like £3.3.99 on eBay and they have loads of different brushes so you've got like slanted ones you've got tiny detailing ones and then you've got your fluffy ones for like your eyeshadow in that and like angling brushes so I thought I'd give these a go they're actually really pretty I, they came in the post this morning so I've been waiting to do this and I actually love the color it's rose gold and like a pale pink and that's just a bit of me so I'm really pleased so far what they look like I haven't opened them as you can tell but yeah, so I've already primed my face with my baby skin so I can get on with this But I am going to use my normal Anastasia brush just to like push my eyebrows up because I start with my eyebrows and do my foundation last So I'm just going to like brush this one up and I'm pretty sure in these brushes because they're on my desk There's a slanted one. It's a lot thicker. I am going to go in with my normal dip brow I'm not using the Anastasia one at the moment. I've gone back to my revolution one so this is the slanted brush, this could be used for eyeshadow or eyebrow one, it's quite big but I feel like we can still work with it, they feel quite good, like they're soft so I'm going to go in with my Revolution pomade, I actually have a medium brown now as you can see, oh it's so satisfying when you open a new one so let's try and do my eyebrow, see how it comes out of my hand um, it's not picking up a lot at the moment, oh there we go okay, actually I'm trying to balance a mirror on my knee Right, I'm going to start trying to do my eyebrows with it. See if I can work with it. I don't know. Oh, I don't have to hold my dip brow, so I have to keep moving. It's a lot thicker than the brush I'd normally use. I don't know, it's coming out quite well. So far, not bad. I mean, I'm definitely gonna have to carve them out, but I'm actually quite pleased with how my eyebrows come out. So I'm gonna turn the camera off quickly, and I'm gonna quickly do the other eyebrow off camera because it's easier, but so far I'm quite pleased with it, so yeah. So I'm back, as you can see, I did my other eyebrow. This one's a little bit thicker, but I'm actually gonna carve my brows out. So I'm gonna see if there's a brush on here that, if you could use that one to carve out. I mean, wait, let me get the rest of these. Um, I think I'm going to go in with, this one looks good to come out, it's flat as well. I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, my mum picked this up for me so thank you mum. I haven't actually really tried this but I seem to be enjoying it. They do feel like decent brushes, I mean like some of the hairs are a little bit taller than they should be and could be cut down but it's not really noticeable but for £3 you can't go wrong. So I got me my mirror, <clears throat> right. Let's see how this brush goes because, I mean, I've not really used these before. I use more techniques normally. Oh, for the eyebrow one, like, I mean, my eyebrows are a little bit thick, but I actually kind of like it. It took quite a lot to pick up, like, the pigment, but it's not bad. Oh my god, I've got, like, concealer in my eyebrows. I normally use an actu actually a thinner brush than this and a lot smaller. So, this is kind of difficult. I mean, the brush is stained already, it's so depressing. I mean, it's not come out bad at all. Kind of got a bit in my eyebrow, so I might have to go over that, but yeah, so far, so good.
gonna comb over them again. I actually kind of like that brush. I might use that in the future. I'm not too sure yet. But I'm just gonna comb them back into place. Hopefully that'll thicken them out a bit where I've got concealer in them that normally does. Covers up my mistakes a little bit. Well, that will do. So that is the, what's it called? My eyebrow brush is done. I actually think they've come out all right. I don't know if they look really thick on camera. I mean, they're actually okay in the light. You have to excuse my skin. I burnt it with hair colors. I didn't realize I'd done it either until my girlfriend told me, she's like, babe, what have you done to your face? And I realized I burnt it. So it's kind of a bit red at the moment and there is actually a spot, but I mean, I'll get rid of it. My eyeshadow primer. This is the Too Faced Shadow in Shorts. I love this. I didn't realize how much of a difference like eyeshadow primer actually makes. I've had it for ages, but like if you don't have one, they are so worth getting if you wear eyeshadow quite a lot like I do. eyeshadow i am going to be using like a revolution heart palette i'm not sure which brush to use i found this really fluffy one which looks pretty decent and i also found this fluffy one which more looks more like for building colors up and stuff i feel like it'd be helpful at. so i think i'm going to use this for my base and this to build the color up possibly i don't know but i'm going to start with a base color yeah i'm going to use that for the base so i'm using the revolutions heart one if you haven't used it i'm going to use like make a pink look so i'm going to start with this one which is just the base color it's just cream i need me a mirror as well would be really convenient oh my god there's so much fallout on this i should have had it i love it but the fallout is unbelievable Okay, that's that done. I do feel really good. I'm going in with this one, which is like a dome brush. It's sort of similar to what I'd use anyway. But let's see how this goes. I'm going to start with the pale pink next to it because I feel like that's a good color to start with, like a transition color. It's holding pigment quite well, which is a start. Right, let's see how this goes. Oh, I'm not using my soap palette. I'm just using the mirror. I mean, I actually like this brush. I like that it's soft and it's actually easy to use. I mean, you always find you get used to your eyeshadow brushes. I'm just hoping it doesn't fall out because I kind of like this jumper. It's kind of cute. And I mean, it's Wednesday today, so I'm wearing pink, obviously. I am that sad I wear pink on Wednesdays, but I think it's kind of cute. Okay, it's a really faint color. You can't really see it yet. So I'm gonna use a brighter color so I can build it up. I'm gonna use, um, this one this reminds me of love letter and so does this one from the anastasia palette i mean mine is well loved as everyone says it is so ruined okay whoa that's bright i find my eyelids are different shapes so it's kind of difficult Oh, you're probably hating me for the way I do my eyeshadow, but, you know. Okay, this is a really bold colour, but I kind of like it. I mean, it's not bad, this palette. This palette, this brush, but this palette is also not bad. I'm going to go in with this darker one, which is like the dupe of Love Letter. Yes, I'm a tramp, and yes, I'm using the same brush. I will use other brushes in this, just at the moment, this one seems to be the one I'm liking best. I've got to say, I mean, my brows are looking good, so I'm kind of pleased with that. And I like this eyeshadow brush. I'm actually really working with this. And the more I start to work with it, the more I'm liking it, and I'm really liking this color. Like, I normally do pinks quite a bit, but like, I haven't for a while. so far what do you guys think like let me know i'm feeling this brush although look at it now it was so pretty and clean <sighs> oh sorry about my hair today i slept with it wet so i'm gonna go in with this dark purple right at the end and i'm gonna use the same brush as i just did and this is just for like the outer corner sort of blend it inwards sort of transitional shade 
Although, because it's quite similar to the red, well, it's not, but like it is, it's kind of hard to see if it's coming out. So, I mean, I'm gonna put that up there. See, I really like this. So, that's like the first part of my eyeshadow done. I got myself a crease with concealer. So, I'm gonna use the concealer brush I used for my eyebrows because I don't know if there's any smaller round ones. I mean, this one's Diddy. Should we try this one out, guys? I think we should, so you guys get a full picture of what I like. This was very similar to like, it reminds me of the shape. I'm gonna put the rubbish on the floor. At least in a pile, I mean, I can pick it up after. Reminds me of the Real Technique one I used to carve up my brows. It's quite fine, like a detailer brush. I mean, this would be good if you were like concealing out shapes and stuff. So I'm just gonna like try it out. And I'm also using the same concealer, if you're wondering. Okay, this brush I've got to say is a bit of a struggle. So I'm gonna go back in with this concealer brush because it's similar to also another one I used to carve out anything. Ah, that's a bit better. No, I'm quite pleased with that. Like that brush is a lot better, although it's now pink and orange and that's kind of gross. So, so for like, I'm gonna, like for the outer corner, I'm just gonna dab back in with the purple I was using and going in with that small dome brush to see if that works out. Right, let's give it a go. I'm gonna pat it because I kind of wanted like a darker bit here. Okay, so I've got the purple. I actually really like this look again so far. I was about to lose the brush. Right, I'm gonna go on the other eyelid and do the same again. Okay, so I like this so far. I'm just gonna I'm not going to do a halo eye or anything today. For the last one, I found this sort of slanted flat brush. They didn't have like a completely flat one apart from obviously the ones I used for concealer, I don't think. No, that's one I use for my eyebrows where it's black. Hmm. I don't know if it was meant to be black anyway. So I found this sort of slanted one and for like the front shade, I think I'm going to go in with, I don't know, because I've got my other palette here and I wanted like a shimmery sort of pale colour. I think I am going to take my sofa palette and I'm gonna go in with this shimmery white shade which I've been using quite a lot recently so I'm just gonna pack my brush with it I don't know which way to go and I'm just gonna pat it on and see how it comes out like this look so that's my eyeshadow done so far put my foundation on and my concealer up i use the maybelline fit me one again just under my eyes and on my like patch on my cheek i'm just gonna use this is my unicorn brush i don't normally use this for powder but i've been really liking it recently so i've done that i've put my powder on i use my Too Faced bronzer just to do my cheeks a bit i'm also gonna pop some mascara on just before i show you guys the next bit so i'll be right back mascara i didn't want to put any lashes on today because i'm going out to my mum's and stuff and there's no not really much of a point it's during the day i use my lash sensational if anyone's wondering oh my god the packaging is just so pleasing and matching as well Wait. but for the next step i was actually going to do some freckles so let me move some stuff so i can get these brushes so i was going to do some freckles and i found a really fine brush although i'm not sure if it's meant to be that shaped if it is then that's kind of weird but I'm also going in with my Ruby Cosmetics, which they kindly sent to me a while ago. It's actually an eyebrow one, but I use it on my, like, um, it's called my freckles. <clears throat> I don't know if the brush is meant to be like this or it's accident accidentally got bent. I'm not sure if it is meant to be like that. It's kind of like bent in half. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we'll give it a go anyway. I mean, it's like, hopefully in my head, it gives me like a quicker way of doing my freckles. So I'm just gonna pop some on my brush. I kind of like this brush even though I don't know if it's meant to be like this like in half and there's a couple of hairs like I said that are a bit taller than the other ones that shouldn't actually be there I don't think but so far I actually really like this 
Um, I could always try one for highlighter. This one's kind of a bit eh. But I don't know. Um, I think I might try one for highlights so you guys get to see most of them. So, I picked a highlighter. As I'm doing a pink look, I thought, why not go for this one, as you guys know. If you haven't seen my top beauty products of 2018, go check that out. Because there's so many gorgeous highlighters in it. Although this one, I think I just stuck my nail in it back soon. But this is Peach Diamond. Um, I think I'm going to go in with this one which I used for like the first bit of the base look at that fallout still coming out I'm also going to spray it with my setting spray because I find the pigment comes off better so let's give it a go and I mean I like my highlighter popping I don't know about anyone else so hopefully I'll have popping highlighter guys I don't know if you can see that on camera but oh damn a little pink nose and my cupid's bow <laughs> I'm so excited for my glow, what the hell. Okay, I sort of need one for like highlighting my eyebrow bone. That's not what you call it. This is like a square one. Mm. Look, it's squared. Like, question, what do you use a squared brush for? That sounds really stupid. I'm gonna like do it a tiny bit. I mean, I definitely didn't have to build my highlighter up on my cheeks. Like, that came off like straight away. But this is the final look. I'm probably gonna pop some lipstick on in a minute. But... I don't really know what lip colour to go for. I might go for a gloss for once, so I'll be right back and I'm going to go and have a look. This is how the final makeup look came out. The eyeshadow came out really well. I'm really pleased with the blending as well. Like, it actually surprised me considering I paid, like, nothing for these. I don't know how many I got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, and twelve brushes for, like, three pounds, three ninety nine. like I said. And they're also a different range. Also, you can see I've not used, like, three of them. So you kind of get quite a different range. These are based on eyeshadow. Like I actually chose them based for eyeshadow. And I'm really pleased with these. I think I will use some of these in future. Like I'm actually quite impressed. I mean, I found it quicker to do my eyebrows with that stuff as well. But all for, overall, I'm really impressed. So if you're starting out with makeup as well, I find these, I think these brushes will be a lot easier to use instead of spending loads of money on them. And then like, you know, it's just best to start out, I think with cheaper brushes. I did. And then I moved on to like Royal Techniques and Morph brushes and like Anastasia ones. But I'm actually really impressed with these. For the price as well, you can't go wrong. So like, I mean, if they were a flop, which I don't think they are, I think they came out quite well. I'm going to give them like an 8 or 9 out of 10. I actually like them. And the packaging, I, I kind of like really pleased with as well so they'll sit nicely on my desk aesthetically pleasing but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video if you want to see me test out more things then let me know in the comments like any suggestions and give us a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.